As far as tutorials go, it's worth looking at the quartz veins. A lot of people find some pretty rad crystals in the quartz veins, but it depends on what type of quartz vein. It's not just any old quartz vein. So usually when you see a quartz vein where there's actually like little sections where there's terminated faces that looks like shiny, it's very uh, reflective of the light, and that's called like terminated surfaces. That's, that's the kind of vein you want to look for. So we actually have a pocket of crystals, and you see how they come out in little points. We just need to get our little trusty screwdriver out so we don't mess our skin up for climbing. That's dope. Super sick. Check it out. Beautiful. So this is just our first little pocket. And we're just curious like what the extent of things are here. Whoa, super sick chloride and chloride quartz. Look, it's like black, but it's green actually. Super cool. So the front tile helps me find crystals because I can see them shining. So there's like, you can see what a crystal is because it reflects. So I always use the front tile. Inside of this, there's crystals growing in here. You see them? And we're gonna have to wash that. It takes time to really find the good stuff. Uh, we at least came out of it with a few crystals, so we're psyched. This is my favorite, this one. It's, it's all terminated on all sides, so it has a cool history. It like broke off the side of the wall. Small little plate of crystals, little flower growth. They're cool. I love these little flowers, and these are typical in like alpine mountain formation. And then this comes out of the middle of a pocket, so this wasn't formed in a sidewall or anything. This is just floating. They're nice quality, the stuff from here. 